Robert Falcon Scott was a rock star of his day. He was probably one of the most famous people on the planet. Kathleen was a, an English-born sculptor. She was a really prominent artist in her own right. The statue is particularly important because it's carved by Robert Falcon Scott's widow. Efforts are continuing to free those trapped by today's magnitude 6.3 earthquake in Canterbury. When the sculpture fell, it actually broke at a really awkward angle. And initially, all the engineers were like, no way. In modern technologies, that's what's saving the statue. Our repair process involves drilling and installing four carbon fibre rods right up both legs. This solution that uh, Grant has come up with, which is fantastic, is totally untested in any um, sculpture made of marble. So because it's such an important statue, we're actually making up a facsimile of one leg, cut it to mimic the break, apply our full repair technique to that. Once that's completed, we take it out to a testing laboratory and we're going to test it. 1.7, 1.9, 2 tonnes, 2.5, 2.7, 2.8. It met our test load very, very well and it is now taking twice our test load. It's proof positive that, that the repair technique that we're adopting uh, is working. What we do is um, turn the thing upside down and I glue that back together, drill the holes, install the carbon fibre. That's when the tension's going to be there if you like it. You know. Actually repairing it uh, required a very special technology which we haven't tried here before. They've done a fantastic job. It's a great story. <laughs>